Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover the role of email marketing. Now, email marketing can be used in so many different aspects of your business. In fact, it can and should be used for branding, referrals, uh, retention, engagement, acquisition, reactivation, direct sales, and to generate traffic. All right, traffic to your landing pages, to your content, to your offers, or in some cases, to other people's. But how do you know where to focus email marketing efforts in your business? Now, pay attention because this is a shocking statement. Email marketing is simply marketing, and hopefully you're already doing that. So we always start with what's already working. Now, most people miss this, all right? So let me not breeze over that. If you're here right now, it's more than likely because you have a business. You have a way that customers find you and give you money at least once, more than likely over and over again. There is something that you say to someone that gets them interested in you and your brand and then gets them to take that next step from, I met this guy to, I met this guy, he told me this and I gave him money or I met this person or I met this lady. Whatever it is, you have a process right now for generating prospects and converting prospects from leads to buyers, all right? So what we're going to spend our time focusing on in this training is how to first leverage what's already working to craft your email messaging. But I need you to understand the customer journey. So if you're, uh, if you're familiar at all with Digital Marketer, especially if you've been through any of our training certifications before, this should be something that's familiar. The customer journey is the core of all marketing and sales, right? Taking someone from unaware to a promoter and, and really understanding what levers to pull to do that. Now, here's the great thing about email marketing and why I'm so excited that you chose to be here. Email, more than any other core discipline of, email, or of digital marketing, has the ability to speed up the movement through these different steps of the customer journey. So let's take a step back for a couple of seconds and review the different steps of the customer journey. Right? A customer or a prospect first has to become aware of you or your brand before they can really do anything. After they've become aware, they need to subscribe. Right? There needs to be a, uh, a passing of, of contact information. After someone's subscribed, now they need to really engage with you and your brand before they have the ability to convert. Now once they've converted, they need to be excited and maintain that excitement so that they can ascend, right? Go from a single purchase to a multi-buyer. Now after they've ascended, there needs to be a transition and a, a, a maintaining of that excitement so that they can then become a brand advocate, right? So they can say nice things about you, come to your defense. Uh, and then after they've moved past the advocate stage, they move on to the promoter stage, right? So that you create through email and marketing efforts uh, a loyal army of promoters that are unpaid. Now, if you can do that in your marketing, no matter what channel you're leveraging, you win. So the goal here is to look at the customer journey roadmap and figure out how we can speed that up a little bit more by leveraging email. So let's take a look at kind of an example customer journey before we move on. So first, a customer needs to see an ad or receive an email about you or your brand. Right? They have to become aware that you exist. Next, ideally, they're going to opt in for a coupon or a lead magnet or some specific uh, and, and topic or interest-centric piece of content so that you know what they're interested in. Then they're going to need to receive some value in advance. So yes, if you're going to truly prospect, you need to be providing value in advance uh, to people who are newly aware of your brand. It's the single most important thing to get someone to trust you enough to ascend from, I just heard of you, here take some money. Or in some cases, I just heard of you, here let me give you some of my precious time. Now, after someone has received value in advance, they're usually open to making an initial purchase. And again, whether that, that currency is, is money or time, this is when that's appropriate to happen. There's the least resistance if this is the order we've gone in. Now, after they've made a purchase, they may need to learn to consume the product or service they just purchased, right? They may need to. They might not, because in most cases, ascension is not, or I'm sorry, consumption is not required for ascension, 
but that differs from every product and service. Next, they'll need to actually get real value, right? They need to get some value, some tangible value from whatever it is they just purchased from you. Then, and, and this is a step that most people miss when they're focusing on crafting their marketing messages and really understanding what it takes to move someone through these different phases. They need to acknowledge, right? Acknowledge and report the value that they've received. Now, in some cases, it's just strictly saying it out loud, accepting to their self or acknowledging to their self that if they bought, let's say, a pillow, right? If they bought a new pillow, while I did actually sleep better last night while using this pillow. Just the verbal acknowledgement of receiving value is so important. And if you can tee that up, if you can, if you can walk someone down this path to acknowledgement, then you're going to expedite the customer journey. And email is a great way to do that. Then make an additional purchase, right? The, the, the easiest way to get someone from a uh, total stranger to brand evangelist is to get them to, to be a hyper responder and to become a multi-buyer very, very quickly. So they need to be able to make an additional purchase. Potentially learn to consume the new product or service. Get even more value and become a raving fan. Now this is important, right? You saw get even more value. Typically it takes more than one successful transaction with your brand for someone else to actually become a fan of your brand. Right? They can have a satisfactory, uh, a satisfactory transaction but until that is now the status quo, right, it is definitive, definitively the rule, never the exception, it's very difficult for someone to become a raving fan of you and your brand. Now, after someone's become a raving fan, what you'll start to see is they'll proactively start saying nice things about you, both proactively and they'll come to your rescue, right? You'll see that as you move people through these phases, it's this phase where if someone happens to say something negative about you in social media, it's the people who have now ascended in their customer journey to becoming advocates that will come to your rescue. They'll come to your defense and they will be, uh, they will be a PR that you cannot buy. Right? They will say things about yourself in your defense that you could never say. So even if you never make it to promoter, it's very important that your goal is to get to this phase because it's the ultimate in free branding. And then finally, if you truly have walked someone through the entire customer journey, I know at Digital Marketer, ours ends with ideally uh, having our customer become a promoter. Ideally having our customers be so uh, in, in indoctrinated in the brand and, and such raving fans that they're going out and they're bringing other people to us. So that's my goal for you. I want to, to, to show you how we can leverage email to expedite this journey. In fact, I'm gonna make kind of a definitive statement here. The role of email marketing in any business is to assist in moving a customer from one stage of the customer journey to the next. Okay, from one stage to the next. Now remember, email has the ability to expedite this more than any other channel, more than paid traffic, more than, than content creation or blogging or video marketing or anything else because we know the positive last action that the customer took. We can leverage technology today or even manual pulls of, of subscriber and database information to figure out how quickly is this person ascending? What have they done? Where did they get stuck in my customer journey and how can I give them a slight nudge leveraging email to get them to move on to the next critical and pivotal step and taking them from stranger to promoter, all right? From stranger to promoter. But what types of emails are needed to move a customer through all these different stages of the customer life cycle? Remember, that's a lot from going to uh, awareness to becoming a promoter. So is there just one type of email that you can leverage and just send out to people on Wednesdays to move them through here? No, of course not. In fact, there are several different types of emails. There are several different types of email campaigns. There are several different types of email promotions. And we're gonna talk about them all as we move forward. We're gonna cover each step in depth and uh, we're gonna walk you through how to create your perfect email marketing campaign to move your customers through these separate stages of the customer journey. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna cover the three different types of email you need to use to move customers through your own customer journey and how and when to deploy them. So I'll see you in the next video.